the second lot came out for the tribe of Simeon according to its clans. Their inheritance lay within the territory of Judah. It included, Beersheba, Orsheba, Molada, Hazarshual, Bala, Izem, Eltalad, Bethul, Horma, Ziklag, Beth Markaboth, Hazar Susa, Beth Labaith, and Jeruhan, thirteen towns and their villages, and, Rumen. Ether and Ashen, four towns, and their villages, and all the villages around these towns as far as Baalath Beer, Rama in the Negev. This was the inheritance of the tribe of the Simeonites, according to its clans. The inheritance of the Simeonites was taken from the share of Judah, because Judah's portion was more than they needed. So the Simeonites received their inheritance within the territory of Judah. The third lot came up for Zebulun according to its clans, the boundary of their inheritance went as far as Sarid. Going west it ran to Merilah, touched Dabasheth, and extended to the ravine near Janium. It turned east from Sarid toward the sunrise to the territory of Kisloth Tabor and went on to Dabaroth and up to Japhia. Then it continued eastward to Gath Heper and Eth Kazan, it came out at Rumen and turned toward Ni. There the boundary went around on the north to Hanathon and ended at the valley of Ephtael. Included were Kadath, Nahalal, Shimron, Idala, and Bethlehem. There were twelve towns and their villages. These towns and their villages were the inheritance of Zebulun, according to its clans. The fourth lot came out for Issachar according to its clans. Their territory included, Jezreel, Keseloth, Shunem, Hapharim, Shin, Anaharoth, Rabbath, Kishon, Ebez, Ramath, and Ganim, and Hatta, and Beth Paze. The boundary touched Tabor, Shahazuma, and Beth Shemesh, and ended at the Jordan. There were sixteen towns and their villages. These towns and their villages were the inheritance of the tribe of Issachar, according to its clans. The fifth lot came out for the tribe of Asher according to its clans. Their territory included, Helkoth, Holly, Bidon, Akshav, Alamelik, Amit and Mishal. On the west the boundary touched Carmel and Shearlibnath. It then turned east toward Beth Dagon, touched Zebulun and the valley of Ephtael, and went north to Beth Emek and Neel, passing Kabul on the left. It went to Abdon, Riab, Haman, and Kana, as far as Greater Sidon. The boundary then turned back toward Rama and went to the fortified city of Tyre, turned toward Hosat and came out at the Mediterranean Sea in the region of Aksab, Umma, Afek, and Riab. There were twenty-two towns and their villages. These towns and their villages were the inheritance of the tribe of Asher, according to its clans. The sixth lot came out for Naphtali according to its clans, their boundary went from Heloph and the large tree in Zonanim, passing Adami Nakeb and Jabneel to Lakam and ending at the Jordan. The boundary ran west through Aznoth Tabor and came out at Hukok. It touched Zebulun on the south, Asher on the west and the Jordan on the east. The fortified towns were Zidim, Zer, Hamath, Rakath, Kinnereth, Adamot, Rama, Hazer, Kadesh, Edrii, and Hazer, Iron, Migdalel, Horam, Bethanath and Beth Shemesh. There were nineteen towns and their villages. These towns and their villages were the inheritance of the tribe of Naphtali, according to its clans. The seventh lot came out for the tribe of Dan according to its clans. The territory of their inheritance included, Zora, Eshtadl, Ir Shemesh, Shalabin, Ijalan, Ithla, Elon, Timna, Ekron, LTK, Jibathon, Baalath, Jihad, Bani Barak, Gathruman, Mejarkan, and Rakan, with the area facing Joppa. When the territory of the Danites was lost to them, they went up and attacked Leshem, took it, put it to the sword, and occupied it. They settled in Leshem and named it Dan after their ancestor. These towns and their villages were the inheritance of the tribe of Dan, according to its clans. When they had finished dividing the land into its allotted portions, the Israelites gave Joshua son of Nun an inheritance among them, as the Lord had commanded. They gave him the town he asked for, Timnath Sarah in the hill country of Ephraim. And he built up the town and settled there. These are the territories that Eleazar the priest, Joshua son of Nun and the heads of the tribal clans of Israel assigned by Lot at Shiloh in the presence of the Lord at the entrance to the tent of meeting. And so they finished dividing the land. Then the Lord said to Joshua, Tell the Israelites to designate the cities of refuge, as I instructed you through Moses, so that anyone who kills a person accidentally and unintentionally may flee there and find protection from the avenger of blood. When they flee to one of these cities, they are to stand in the entrance of the city gate and state their case before the elders of that city. Then the elders are to admit the fugitive into their city and provide a place to live among them. If the avenger of blood comes in pursuit, the elders must not surrender the fugitive, 
because the fugitive killed their neighbor unintentionally and without malice aforethought. They are to stay in that city until they have stood trial before the assembly and until the death of the high priest who is serving at that time. Then they may go back to their own home in the town from which they fled. So they set apart Kadesh in Galilee in the hill country of Naphtali, Shechem in the hill country of Ephraim, and Kiriath Arba, that is, Hebron, in the hill country of Judah. East of the Jordan, on the other side from Jericho, they designated Bezer in the wilderness on the plateau in the tribe of Reuben, Ramoth in Gilead in the tribe of Gad, and Golan in Bashan in the tribe of Manasseh. Any of the Israelites or any foreigner residing among them who killed someone accidentally could flee to these designated cities and not be killed by the avenger of blood prior to standing trial before the assembly. Now the family heads of the Levites approached Eleazar the priest, Joshua son of Nun, and the heads of the other tribal families of Israel at Shiloh in Canaan and said to them, The Lord commanded through Moses that you give us towns to live in, with pasture lands for our livestock. So, as the Lord had commanded, the Israelites gave the Levites the following towns and pasture lands out of their own inheritance, the first lot came out for the Kohathites, according to their clans. The Levites who were descendants of Aaron the priest were allotted thirteen towns from the tribes of Judah, Simeon, and Benjamin. The rest of Kohath's descendants were allotted ten towns from the clans of the tribes of Ephraim, Dan, and half of Manasseh. The descendants of Gershon were allotted thirteen towns from the clans of the tribes of Issachar, Asher, Naphtali, and the half-tribe of Manasseh in Bashan. The descendants of Merari, according to their clans, received twelve towns from the tribes of Reuben, Gad, and Zebulun. So the Israelites allotted to the Levites these towns and their pasture lands, as the Lord had commanded through Moses. From the tribes of Judah and Simeon they allotted the following towns by name, these towns were assigned to the descendants of Aaron who were from the Kohathite clans of the Levites, because the first lot fell to them they gave them Kiriath Arba, that is, Hebron. With its surrounding pasture land, in the hill country of Judah. Arba was the forefather of Anak. But the fields and villages around the city they had given to Caleb son of Jephunneh as his possession. So to the descendants of Aaron the priest they gave Hebron, a city of refuge for one accused of murder, Libna, Jatir, Eshtimo, Halon, Debir, and Juttah, and Beth Shemesh, together with their pasture lands, nine towns from these two tribes. And from the tribe of Benjamin they gave them, Gibeon, Geba, and Adhoth, and Almon, together with their pasture lands, four towns. The total number of towns for the priests, the descendants of Aaron, came to thirteen, together with their pasture lands. The rest of the Kohathite clans of the Levites were allotted towns from the tribe of Ephraim, in the hill country of Ephraim they were given Shechem, a city of refuge for one accused of murder, and Gezer, Kibzaim, and Beth Haran, together with their pasture lands, four towns. Also from the tribe of Dan they received, LTK, Jibathon, Ijalan, and gath Rumen, together with their pasture lands, four towns. From half the tribe of Manasseh they received, Tonich and gath Rumen, together with their pasture lands, two towns. All these ten towns and their pasture lands were given to the rest of the Kohathite clans. The Levite clans of the Gershonites were given, from the half-tribe of Manasseh, Golan in Bashan, a city of refuge for one accused of murder, and Beeshterah, together with their pasture lands, two towns, from the tribe of Issachar, Kishon, Debaroth, Jarmuth, and Anganim. Together with their pasture lands, four towns, from the tribe of Asher, Mishal, Abdon, Helkoth, and Rehob, together with their pasture lands, four towns, from the tribe of Naphtali, Kadesh in Galilee, a city of refuge for one accused of murder, Hamathdor, and Carton. Together with their pasture lands, three towns. The total number of towns of the Gershonite clans came to thirteen, together with their pasture lands. The Merarite clans, the rest of the Levites, were given, from the tribe of Zebulun, Janium, Karta, Dimna, and Nahalal, together with their pasture lands, four towns, from the tribe of Reuben, Bezer, Hahaz, Kadimoth, and Mephoth. Together with their pasture lands, four towns, from the tribe of Gad, Ramoth in Gilead, a city of refuge for one accused of murder, Mahanaim, Heshbon, and Jazer, together with their pasture lands, four towns in all. The total number of towns allotted to the Merarite clans, who were the rest of the Levites, came to twelve. The towns of the Levites in the territory held by the Israelites were forty-eight in all, together with their pasture lands. Each of these towns had pasture lands surrounding it, this was true for all these towns. So the Lord gave Israel all the land he had sworn to give their ancestors, and they took possession of it and settled there. The Lord gave them rest on every side, just as he had sworn to their ancestors. Not one of their enemies withstood them, 
the Lord gave all their enemies into their hands. Not one of all the Lord's good promises to Israel failed, everyone was fulfilled.